A V10 engine is a V engine with 10 cylinders in two banks of five. It is longer than a V8 engine but shorter than a straight six engine or V12 engine. Despite the several different arrangements used to improve the engine's balance, most V10s share a distinct exhaust note. Mechanics The V10 is essentially the result of mating two even firing straight five engines together. The straight five engine shows first and second order rocking motion. Here it should be assumed that the crankshaft with low second order vibration is used and the first order is balanced by a balanced shaft. By mating the straight five banks at 90 degrees and using five throws, the balance shafts balance each other and become null. The firing sequence is odd. Using an 18 a degree split journal crankshaft the firing order can be made even, and the two balanced shafts do not balance each other completely, but are combined into a single very small balance shaft. Using a 5 throw crankshaft and 72 a degree bank angle the firing order can be made even, and the two balanced shafts do not balance each other completely, but are combined into a single small balance shaft. A 36 a degree degree bank angle and a 108 a degree flying arm crankshaft would allow even firing without a balance shaft and smaller counterweights, but would be impractical. The V10 configuration is not an inherently balanced design like a straight 6, V12, boxer engine, or V8 and does still have a small second order rocking motion, which can only be compensated by balance shafts. Road cars, until recently, the V10 configuration was not a common configuration for road cars. A V12 is only slightly more complicated and runs more smoothly, while a V8 is less complex and more economical. For the Lexus LFA, the engineers selected a V10 engine over an equivalent displacement V8 because they could not get the V8 to rev as high as the V10, and over a V12 for its lower reciprocating mass allowing for more rapid engine response. For Audi and their Audi R8 5.2 FSI Quattro, the V10 was a compromise between a V12 which would be too long and suffer more internal friction due to extra cylinders and valves, and a V8 which would be more compact but have larger, heavier pistons and have a lower reed line. The Dodge V10 engine saw its first production use in substantially revised form in the Dodge Viper sports car, while the truck version of the engine was used starting with the second generation Dodge Ram. It discontinued in that application after 2003. However, 2003 also saw the introduction of the Dodge Ram SRT10, a performance model meant to rival Ford's successful V8 powered F150 SVT Lightning. The Viper engine has been tweaked through the years, and for the fifth generation Viper produces 640 horsepower in a standard state of tune from its 8.4 litre displacement. The previous generation engine is used by Bristol, in tuned form, in their two seat fighter coupe, where it can produce upward of 630 horsepower. Ford also developed a heavy duty V10 version of their Triton engine to replace the 460 big block in truck applications. It was introduced in the E-Series Econoline full-size van. The F-Series Super Duty and Excursion SUV furthered the engine's popularity. The Triton 6.8 V10 is still in production today. European marks were slower to adopt the V10 configuration. However, high-revving V10 power plants were incorporated into supercars from Lamborghini and Porsche. BMW and Audi later unveiled 10-cylinder versions of their mid-range saloons. Audi here profited from their Lamborghini ownership, which allowed them to source the Gallardo's V10 for their own cars. Volkswagen also developed a turbo diesel V10. Their Volkswagen Phaeton was the first production sedan to have a V10. A list of post-war V10 engine production cars, Audi S6-5.2L, Audi RS 6-5.0 LB Turbo, Audi S8-5.2 L, Audi R8-5.2 L, BMW M5-5.0 L, BMW M6-5.0 L, Bristol Fighter, Devon GTX Dodge Viper, 8.0 L 8.4 L, Dodge Ram 2500-3500 Heavy Duty, Dodge Ram SRT 10-8.3 L. Ford E350 6.8L, Ford Super Duty, 6.8L, Ford Excursion, 6.8L, GTA Spino, 
Lexus LFA, 4.8L, Lamborghini Gallardo, 5.0L slash 5.2L, Lamborghini Huracan N, 5.2L, Lamborghini Sesto Elemento, 5.2L, Porsche Carrera GT, 5.7L, Volkswagen Taurig, 5.0 TDI PD, Volkswagen Phaeton, 5.0 TDI PD, Wisman MF GT5. Racing, the most widespread use of the V10 has been in Formula One racing. Alfa Romeo made the first modern Formula One V10 in 1986, although it was never used in a Formula One car. Later the configuration was introduced by Honda and Renault before the 1989 season. The introduction of the 3.5-litre rule after turbos were outlawed following 1988 made the V10 seem the best compromise between the lower weight of a V8 and the higher power of a V12. V10 engines became commonplace after the reduction from 3.5 to 3 litres in 1995, and were used exclusively by teams from 1998 to 2005. Renault had a more flat 110 a degree angle in 2002 and 2003, but reverted to a more conventional 72 a degree following the change in rules which dictated that an engine must last two race weekends. In a further change to the rules, V10s were banned for the 2006 season onwards in favor of 2.4 litre V8s, however a concession was made in that season for teams to use significantly rev limited V10s. Scuderia Toro Rosso being the only team to use this option. The Audi A15 LMP1 uses a TDI V10 diesel engine which made its debut in 2009 12 hours of spring. This car completed the most laps ever in Le Mans 24 history. There are also cars with V10 engines in sports car racing, usually with Judd power plants with 4 or 5 litre engines, made available for customers, although the first V10 was seen in the works Peugeot 905. In the two final races of the 1990 World Sports Car Championship season, it was also seen in the works Toyota TSO 10 that appeared at the end of 1991. Notes <laughs>